Hey everyone, hope you're having a great weekend. What a fantastic performance by our students Friday night, Saturday afternoon. I hope many of you had the opportunity to come out and see that. It was great to see so many of you there. Uh, thank you to our parents for all your support. Uh, thanks to our staff, in particular, Miss Tracy Martino uh, for directing. Uh, we had so many support staff from all over the district. It was really a community effort. So thank you to everyone involved. Uh, and congratulations to our students. We're proud of you. I know your parents and family are proud of you as well. But we're so excited to bring the musical back to Sherwood after three years of not being able to do that. Uh, thanks to our students and faculty that came out to support uh, our students as well. So it was just a great overall weekend. I know a lot of hard work went into that. Uh, we have another busy week coming up this week. We are one third of the way through the school year. So we are starting trimester two this week and cycle three this week. Uh, report cards will be home in a couple of weeks. More information coming on that. Uh, but we have a PTO meeting Monday night. We have a webinar for parents Thursday night. We have a new resource that uh, students have the option of using. It's called School Pulse, where they can get positive messages to uh, texted to their phone. Um, so there's some information about that. I know parents have had questions about what is School Pulse, how does it work? So we're having an informational webinar, 6 o'clock Thursday night. We hope you will join us for that. We will be recording that for anyone that is not able to join us for that. Uh, we also have the Spelling Bee Friday night here at Sherwood. We haven't had that in a few years, so 6 o'clock, come on out for that. We're excited to our students, students that uh, are able to do well in that Spelling Bee, have an opportunity to participate in the national competition uh, later on this spring. Uh, one reminder for parents that I didn't mention, we do have an early release on Tuesday. So students have the opportunity for a grab-and-go lunch. Uh, they will sign up in homeroom on Monday if they're interested in that. Uh, but it is an early dismissal, which means it's 11.35 a.m. And we have professional development for staff on Tuesday. So just a reminder for that. Uh, but wanted to thank our families, students, and staff. Again, it's been a, a tremendous start to the school year. We are continue to be impressed uh, with our students in terms of their uh, living out our core values each day, uh, really getting engaged in their learning. Hopefully they're coming home and sharing that information with you. Um, I know sometimes that can be difficult as a parent where you feel like you're not sure uh, what's your child, but hopefully you're having those conversations over the dinner table and uh, in between sports practices and, uh, and those sorts of things. But we, again, appreciate your partnership. We're looking forward to the next few weeks where we will continue to get into, into a groove before our next vacation uh, on December 23rd. So that's it for me right now. Again, hope you will consider joining us at many parent events that are happening this week, and I wish you all a great rest of your weekend. Take care.